Hi guys, uh, I am Ahmed and uh, today I am here with uh, question number 16 from past papers. Some of uh, friends requested that uh, I should post um, more fe uh, frequent videos and uh, this is not possible with the 10 questions in each video. So I am reducing the number of questions in each video and I will discuss the question in the same video but I will do it more frequently now. Today I have one question for you and I will discuss it in the same video. After uh, narrating the question I will give you 10 seconds then we will discuss it. Okay, question is a 67 years old male smoker came to your clinic for routine checkup on abdominal palpation. On abdominal palpation you found a non-tender pulsatile mass. You are suspecting abdominal aortic aneurysm which of the following is investigation of choice at this step ct scan of abdomen ultrasound ecg x-ray okay you have 10 seconds to think okay done uh, okay let's discuss first about all these investigation then we will check which option is correct and why other options are not correct uh, let me show you a few pictures. Uh, uh, one doctor told me uh, that uh, in this question they had a picture, a somewhat similar picture of ultrasound. This picture is showing 2 cm abdominal aorta. And uh, uh, note that uh, it's not necessary in each question that you can recognize the lesion or any pathology in the picture. In even almost 80 to 85 percent questions you can solve the question without picture even okay if you don't recognize a picture in a, an exam in an exam question then don't worry try to solve the question there are 80 to 85 percent chances that you can solve without even picture okay but i'm showing you pictures to just have some memory and uh, just like a ct scan of abdomen or abdominal aortic aneurysm you can see an arrow showing, I am trying to touch my fingers but uh, you cannot see. There is an arrow showing the abdominal aortic aneurysm. So just have a uh, memory of that. Okay, abdominal aortic aneurysm is a dilatation of abdominal aorta and it's permanent and it can be localized or diffused and it can be on uh, many levels. Not uh, even if uh, aortic aneurysm is exists in thoracic as well. Regarding ultrasound, ultrasound is investigation of choice. It's very sensitive and specific. It is almost 100% sensitive and 96% specific for infrarenal abdominal aortic aneurysm and same for all others as well, uh, all other sites. It's non-invasive. It can be performed at bedside. This is very important because uh, uh, in this question the patient was not symptomatic but if, if a patient is symptomatic it means patient is at risk of rupture and even sometimes in emergency or in a question you can come across with a patient with the ruptured ab abdominal aortic aneurysm. In all these conditions you don't want to move the patient outside the emergency for more sophisticated tests like CT scan or MRI. Okay and with a very good sensitivity and specificity of ultrasound you don't need any other test for uh, to delay that care okay and uh, uh, here is another point uh, where sensitivity is always for to rule out the disease and specificity is to rule in the disease and uh, last point is the ultrasound abdomen should be done to screen the males for abdominal aortic aneurysm in between the age of 65 to 75 who have ever smoked okay ever ever word is important ever smoked CT abdomen CT abdomen definitely gives somewhat more information of, uh, especially about the anatomy uh, when uh, you are planning for endovascular repair of aneurysm it can give you details of anatomy above the aneurysm and below the aneurysm but it's not a routine investigation to diagnose okay because it uh, first of all it needs 
some good technician who can perform it and uh, they are not available everywhere it's higher in cost longer study time if patient is in emergency don't have longer time and a very important uh, point if uh, you can solve the problem with ultrasound why to give unnecessary exposure to radiation and con contrast material okay and last point i already discussed that sending a patient with suspected or even ruptured aortic aneurysm outside the emergency department for longer period is never advisable okay so that's why ultrasound abdomen is investigation of choice uh, main conflict uh, answering a question in uh, uh, should be between ultrasound and ct abdomen but uh, we will see other two options x-ray and ecg x-ray has very low diagnostic yield so don't waste time it will uh, be, it will be just delay in care okay and uh, ecg has some findings and we will discuss those findings very soon in another question but that uh, the findings are never diagnostic okay in this question we are discussing an investigation that can help us in diagnosing the abdominal aortic aneurysm so uh, ecg and x-ray are not good choice and ct scan the ct scan although it can give more information but uh, we know why it is not first choice and ultrasound abdomen is investigation of choice okay uh, this was regarding abdominal aortic aneurysm i have collected uh, some other questions on same topic abdominal aortic aneurysm and i'll try to finish the topic in next few videos i don't know how much questions i have i think two more or three and there, there is already one question uh, discussed in a video you can check go back and uh, check that uh, in that we have discussed uh, i i think uh, yeah it was regarding the management when to do elective surgery and when to do follow-up and when to do uh, emergency surgery so uh, now in this we have discussed the investigation of choice and other investigations okay uh, regarding investigation one more point uh, sometimes cbc is mentioned in option cbc is not a diagnostic test and in uh, even in acute emergency like ruptured aneurysm uh, uh, hemoglobin or hematocrit will not fall very soon patients uh, vitals will fall first so that as that's not a significant test uh, i hope that's all for today best of luck and uh, stay connected those uh, who have watched this video uh, up to now up till now it means you are interested kindly subscribe the channel so we may remain connected see you soon bye